us march on till victory is won. Happy Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome to Take 5 with GPS on this uh, the 16th day of February here. We continue on our journey of highlighting black excellence, outstanding contributions that um, contribute to our lives in ways that are big and small that we often don't realize were thanks to the ingenuity, the creativity, and the excellence of our black brothers and sisters. So delighted that you're with us today. Please sign in and say hello. It's good to hear from our regular fans and listeners each and every day, our singers together in this wonderful community. I want to invite you today into an episode where we talk about uh, the pains, the trials, and the tribulations in our lives both the ones that we experience mentally, the obstacles that are placed in front of us that we have to work to knock down with persistence and resiliency, but also the physical ails and the physical pain that we endure in our bodies and the things that have been created to help us feel better. In all of those ways, our honored uh, person today, Dr. Percy Julian, meets that criteria. He is a model for resiliency, for black excellence in academics and ingenuity, but also in developing things that make our physical lives much more pleasant and easy to endure. So I hope you're feeling good today. Check out how your body's doing this morning. Would you wiggle your toes a little bit? Wiggle your fingers some. It's still chilly here. I know we've got this unseasonably un, um, cold weather all across the country. So let's all make sure we're getting our bodies going. Just a little bit of wiggling here, almost like an amoeba there, just moving in all directions to get the blood flowing. Now I'm going to invite you to reach up with an inhalation to embrace the day. Exhale it out. One more time, reaching up and in. Really stretch at this time. Lengthen your spine with that inhalation. Exhale it out with a sigh. Ah, open up. Give yourself a nice hug. Hug yourself to love yourself. The crew is all assembling now. I see more and more people saying hello to each other. We're all here. That's good. Gang's all assembling. It's wonderful to be with you. Just squeeze the ears to the shoulders, shoulders to the ears. Release it with a sigh. One more time. Let all the burdens kind of bear, build up anxiety. Release it. One more time. Up. Feel that tension in everything. Now let it all go. Sometimes we need to do that just to get into that beautiful space. Let's get our voices going today, friends. We'll start first just by getting the air flowing here with a little lip trill. There we go. I've seen 
lots of space in that sound. Trouble I've seen one more. Trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. That's a little foreshadowing of our song of the day. So I would like to, before I move into honoring Dr. Percy Julian, I'd like to take a special moment to acknowledge Dr. Michelle Kippens, who is a member of the Fourth Street Baptist Church. And Dr. Kippens is one of my mentors who taught me a lot about black history and introduced me to a lot of black excellence in my days growing up as a teenager. I know that she's watching today and I wanna thank you for putting me on this path of curiosity to learning more about uh, our ancestors and those who are still among us who are making a positive difference with black and brown bodies. Thank you, Dr. Kippens, for all you do, and I hope you are enjoying today's episode. So with that tribute there, let's talk about Dr. Percy Julian. He was born in Birmingham, Alabama. My family lived there for a period of time uh, near the turn of the century, and he knew very early on that he wanted to be a scientist. His parents were descendants from slave, enslaved Africans. His mother was a teacher and his father was a railroad mail carrier and one who saw the power in books and math and both of them wanted to make sure their children received the powerful, positive education. Percy is the oldest child. He was forced because of segregation at that time to attend black only schools which had no science labs. But that did not deter him from getting into DePaul University, becoming the first college educated member of his family. Now think about our song, Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen. Even at DePaul, he faced discrimination and he kept pushing through. He would work odd jobs to pay his tuition and he graduated at the top of his class. He was in the jazz band, he played piano. And even though he was at the top of his class, he received no offers to go to graduate school because he determined no one wanted a black chemist. You see here, he became a chemist, a researcher, and an entrepreneur. The story continues. Because he couldn't get into graduate school, he took a job teaching at Fisk University in Tennessee. Fisk University, the Jubilee Singers, the place where the spiritual really grew and people began to sing the, the Negro spirituals on a wider scale. That comes back in our story. He taught there for a couple of years. Then he was awarded a fellowship at Harvard University. But even after excelling at Harvard, they would not renew his fellowship because they were afraid that white students wouldn't want a black person as their teacher. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. He was still persistent, went to teach at Howard University, another historically black college and university in Washington, D.C., and earned a Rockefeller Foundation fellowship to go study at the University of Vienna in Austria. And it's there, working under the guidance of Ernst Spaeth, he created chemical compounds and enjoyed freedom from racism, earned his doctorate degree, went to the opera, taught his friends the spirituals that he grew up to love. And then he came back to his alma mater at DePaul University. And there he worked with a colleague to develop a way to synthesize the chemical compound that we use to treat glaucoma and Alzheimer's disease. Even with that, in 1935, they refused to grant him a full-time teaching appointment. He decided to go work in private industry. His first appointment was in Appleton, Wisconsin, but they withdrew that job because it was a sundown town and blacks couldn't go out after dark. Still, he pers persevered, went to work for the Glidden Paint Company, and there was where he focused his research on the miracle drug cortisone. And we know what cortisone does. Percy, Dr. Julian, found a way to synthesize it from the soy plant, and that's what made it much more affordable and why it's widely used to this day. Even with all of that in mind, hate still followed his family. His house was bombed when he lived in Illinois, but he continued to persevere, continued to achieve. Dr. Percy LeVon Julian, a shining example of black excellence and perseverance. And in honor of his perseverance and his love of the spiritual and connection to Fisk University, we sing this wonderful Negro spiritual today. Dr. Harry T. Burley, we talked about him many before. Henry Burley, we talked about him back in the summer. One of his arrangements. Sing with me. Nobody 
knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows but Jesus. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Glory, Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. Oh, yes, Lord. Sometimes I'm almost to the ground. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, tribulations, we can still sing glory, hallelujah, and see that there's a brighter day ahead. That's especially true now for all of us. Have a lovely Tuesday, everyone. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for a little Kids Day edition of Take 5, Celebrating Black Excellence. Bye now.